Let's start. This question reads, Guillain-Barre syndrome, GBS, describes a collection of clinical syndromes that manifests as an acute inflammatory polyreticuloneuropathy with resultant weakness and diminished reflexes. GBS is the most important cause of acute flaccid paralysis. Approximately one-third of patients require admission to an intensive care unit, ICU, primarily because of respiratory failure. After discharge, many patients with GBS undergo outpatient physical therapy and occupational therapy to regain their baseline functional status. You can pause the video, read the question, answer it, then come back for the correct answer and explanation. Okay, so the correct answer here is C. GBS is a post-infectious immune-mediated disease. Infection with C. jejuni is one of the most common recognized risk factors for developing GBS. Moving on, this next question reads, which of the following subtypes of GBS is most common in the United States? Again, you can pause the video, read the question, answer it, then come back for the correct answer and explanation. Okay, so the correct answer here is D. Acute inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy is the most commonly identified form of GBS in the United States. This last question reads, which of the following is accurate regarding the treatment of GBS? Again, you can pause the video, read the question, answer it, then come back for the correct answer and explanation. Okay, so the correct answer here is D. Intravenous immunoglobulin and plasma exchange have proved to be effective. On the other hand, corticosteroids have not 